Good morning everyone, I'm Koda Shah. Welcome to Koda Shah's EV3 Challenges. So for this challenge, you're going to create a program for the guitar made from the LEGO Mindstorms 31313 set. Before we do that, here is the solution for the steering and driving challenge. You can go to this YouTube video for an explanation of how to do this. You need to know about my blocks before you do this solution. You can learn more about them at this link. And this is from EV3 Lessons, which is a very comprehensive site for learning how to program the EV3 Mindstorms kit. Here's a picture of the guitar that you can build. And the building instructions for this guitar are at lego.com slash cdn slash cs slash set slash isets that very long string slash electric guitar dot pdf. So this is how it works. It uses an infrared sensor, which looks like this. In fact, you can see it here. There's the infrared sensor. And here's a slider that can move freely on the neck of the guitar. So the infrared sensor detects the proximity of the slider and different proximity creates different nodes or chords. So if I were to plug this into my EV3 brick right now and go to the EV3 Mindstorm software, you can see there it appears. And as I move my hand closer and further away from it, you can see the value of the sensor will change. Now, if you have an education set, you can also use the ultrasonic sensor instead of the infrared sensor. Now, the second thing is the touch sensor. You can see the touch sensor here. And there's a little lever connected to this touch sensor. When you press this lever, the touch sensor will be released. And if the touch sensor has been released, it will play a note. Now, the final thing in this model is this lever over here. If you pull on this lever, it changes the pitch of the notes being played. You won't be using it for this exercise. To make sounds using the EV3, you use the sound block. Here's an example of the sound block. I can just pull out a new sound block here. Let's take this one away. You can configure the sound block to play notes. I'm going to make it play C. Right. Another thing you can do is you can actually import sounds. So for that, you will use the sound editor. I'm going to open a sound. Right. So you just uh, figure out the part of the sound that you want to import. Okay, and we save that. I'm going to call it Guitar 2. I close this. Then I have another sound block. They will say play file. The name of the file is And this is what it sounds like. Okay. Another way that you can play sounds is by playing <coughs> sounds rapidly 
in succession. So you can play what sounds like a chord. I have the notes here for the C chord. This is C, this is E, and this is G. I've set the duration to 0 0.02 seconds. Then when I play them, it sounds like that. For information about chords, you can use this link, dextermusic.jp slash en slash chord, and you'll find all the chords that you have that you can program into your EV3 brick. And uh, you, go, you can go to uh, ultimateguitar.com to find lots and lots of guitar songs that you can play. Now, here are some hints for programming your guitar. You will need to check to see if the touch sensor has been released. So for that, you use a switch inside a loop block. So let's move all this out of the way. Here's a loop block, and here's a switch. You can configure the switch to check to see if the touch sensor has been released. So if the touch sensor has been released, it will perform the sequence. If the touch sensor has been pressed, it will perform this sequence. Now inside this block, you can put further switch blocks. This time you want to check on the value of the infrared sensor. So you can see how close the slider is to the infrared sensor and here you can uh, make your guitar play music notes depending on this distance that's not the whole solution there are some things that you have to consider but this hopefully will give you enough guidance so that you can program it on your own so for each range you need to play either a note or a chord. If you want to be more precise in the measurements, you can use multiple measurements. And you can use the math block. So you can use the math block uh, to calculate. Um, and not the math law actually, uh, this would be a better one to use. The advanced calculation block, see if I can find it. Yep, this is it. So here I can measure the value that's coming in from the sensor and perform a calculation on it to get the average value. The equation to use is the one here. So it will be basically A plus B plus C divided by B. If you have an education set, you can use the ultrasonic sensor instead of the infrared sensor. And you can either make it play notes, make it play sounds, chords or make it play multiple notes in quick succession so it sounds like a chord when the touch sensor is released. 
So here's the challenge. To begin with, program the guitar to play different sounds depending on the proximity of the slider. Here, you don't need to worry about the touch sensor just yet. The second part of the challenge is to program the guitar to only play a sound when the touch sensor is released. I hope this will be a fun and interesting challenge for you. Stay safe everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.